first category, spiritual perception. Out of that spiritual perception, I listed multiple things. <clears throat> One of them is impressions. Remember we talked about impressions of things to do? Tensions of things not to do. Various unctions that could be prompted by the Spirit. It's the knowings. How many of you that you had a moment where there was something that you just know that you know that you know, but you don't have a prior knowledge of it? You just need, you just know that you can't go there. You don't need to talk to this person. You got to do this. You can't do this. Just it's a knowing. Okay. Okay. That is a spiritual perception. Okay. Two other things that I want to add to this is body checks. We barely talked about that. Body checks. Now, this is where it will take you for you discernment of understanding how the how the Lord works through you. With different people, he will work very differently. I've had many occurrences and I've had many uh, many instances where the word of knowledge came through a body check. What do I mean? I'm coming up on the stage to to minister and all of a sudden this was in our church some two years ago. All of a sudden I feel this pain in my tongue. I feel this pain in my tongue and and like I feel like there's sores in my mouth. And it's very painful. And I'm like, what the heck is going on? And we're about to pray for healing. Now, because I've been already studying this area, I've been trained, I heard about body checks. And I, or I already had other uh, body check experiences. In my mind, I said, Lord, is this, is this you? Like, like, it's so painful in my mouth that I can't even... I'm, if the pain doesn't go away, I won't even be able to speak. And, and when I paid attention to it, the Lord said... Yes, there's a woman that has, uh, actually, he said there's a person here that has a severe pains. And so when my turn came to pray for healing, Pastor Vods kicked off the prayer and then the mic was passed down to me. I said, there's a person the Lord wants to hear. You have sores and pains in your mouth that it's so painful that doctors have prescribed you like a medication for it, but it's not going away. God wants to heal you right now. And there comes a woman forward and says, this is me. As I stretched my hands toward her, I said, be healed in Jesus' name. Her tongue got loose, pain left. She was surprised. She was in shock that pain just left instantly because it was even hard for her to pronounce words. The other time, um, and again, is many times that have happened. It's actually one of the ways that I get word of knowledge for healing uh, one time i came out and all of a sudden i i felt a sharp pain in my elbow and a shooting down I kept shooting down my my nerves ending in my uh, in my in my in in my arm all the way down to my hand and it's like what is that like it's almost like a numbing shooting pain feeling i was like what's going on again that was actually one of the first times i didn't know understand what it was i read about body checks but i didn't know what it was and then so just to try it out, I said, there's somebody here in the sanctuary, because I was praying that was in our church. You have from elbow down, you have the shooting pain that's going up. Uh, it's going down all the way to your uh, nerve endings in your fingertips. This person comes up, says, this is me. I'm like, so, and here's the thing. The moment I decided to release that word, the pain left. This is how I knew it was God who was speaking to me. Same thing with, with the issue with the tongue that I had. The moment I thought about it, that I'm going to release that, the pain has gone, left me. One time, I'm getting up on the stage, also in our church, getting up on the stage. As I'm getting up on the stage, all of a sudden, I have this severe pain in my knees. Now, I prefer, at this point, I prefer God to talk to me differently, okay? But sometimes he chooses to use body checks, so it is what it is. And I'm like, what's going on? It's almost like there was a clicking sound. And so uh, that was actually not, not too long ago. So I already understood like, okay, well, I don't have any knee pains. That's not my natural problem. Um, so this, um, 
this this could be the Lord. I'm, and especially, I'm about to pray for healing. So I'm like, okay, this is the Lord. So as soon as I thought of that, pain, bam, right away left. And so then I'm praying for people, praying for mass prayer, and then attending mass prayer. I'm like, hey, there's somebody who has severe issue in their left knee, and it's clicking. Like it's it's grinding or clicking. Person lifts a hand, pray for them, bam, immediately they get healed. They feel the fire of God on their knee. They start moving, no more clicking sound, no more pain. And um, the other time I come in and I like get this sharp pain in my left side and I feel like it's a kidney. And I get understanding that it's like a kidney stone. And so the moment I thought about it and I'm like, okay, I'm going to release it, bam, it's gone. And I said, there's somebody who has kidney stones and you're having a um, hard time with it and all that stuff. And then the person comes up and says, yeah, I have kidney stones. The doctors give me this medicine to pass it, but I'm, I'm struggling in a deep pain. And the moment we pray, the pain goes away, kidney stones disappear, and the person actually never passes the stone, passes the stones. They just dissolve. So many examples like this. So that's spiritual perception. That's something that could be practiced and developed. Now, how you say, how do you practice body checks? Well, you don't really practice it as much as you pay attention to it, especially in the moment like you, you're about to talk to somebody. You're about to pray for somebody, and then you get that. It's kind of like Moses thing with the tree, with the burn, I mean, with the tr burning bush. You turn your side to it, you pay attention to it, and you ask the Lord, is this you? And if the Lord confirms that, yeah, this is me, all of a sudden the pain leaves, this is you know for sure. <laughs> this is from the Lord. Because the moment you understood that it's from the Lord, the moment you understood what it is actually, and you made a decision in your heart, I'm going to release it, and it goes away, that's how you know it's a body check. And so that's one way to do it. Uh, I know another minister who, uh, the way the Lord speaks to them about other people's calling, especially about the offices that, uh, about the offices of Jesus. Remember we talked about uh, that Jesus has given gifts unto men, the fivefold ministries. The way he knows when a certain person has an office is depending on what finger on his right hand would be feeling sensation. I don't know if it's like a pulsation, tingling, or whatever it is. For example, usually a pointing finger is associated with the prophet as he guides, directs, and rebukes, right? And so when people come up and he knows that they're called into the office of a prophet, his, his index finger begins to feel sensation. Now, <clears throat> How you deliver, how you deliver this word of knowledge or this information is also vital. Because sometimes these people that I know that move in the great word of knowledge or prophetic through body of sensation, when they begin to describe how they sensed it, how they received it, people that are trying to receive it, they don't understand it and they get weirded out by it. Does that make sense? If somebody comes and says, oh, <clears throat> excuse me oh my thumb is is tingling so that means uh you got pancreas issue you'll be like what you <laughs> you're weird okay <clears throat> now because you took this class it might not be weird to you but for most people that understand these things it'll be weird and so <clears throat> pay attention sometimes god i, I know a person <clears throat> discernment of spirit works through a body check um he knows when he encounters Jezebel spirit. Certain parts of his body come to a certain sensation. I'm not even going to, I'm not even going to just go and describe these things, okay? And so, if you <clears throat> don't use wisdom how to how you relay the information, instead of saying, "Oh, my ear is tingling," that means you got uh, a, a a a demon of envy, right? It's like, dude, you're just kind of being weird right now. Uh, you can approach it in a very different way. It says like, yeah, I sense that there's, there's a certain thing that you're battling with, you know. And you don't have to actually share with people how you receive the revelation. Okay. Uh, some people have, you know, like visions, open visions. And they say, oh, uh, I see a unicorn around you. So this is that what it means. And you're like, oh, man, wow, you're... Are you one of those weird ones? And so use wisdom how you deliver special body checks. 
the body checks is for you to know what God is saying. Not necessarily for the person that is receiving the word. What you need to do is to relay the actual content of the message in a proper form. 